a documentary featuring local Holocaust survivors, will premiere next week. What We Carry highlights four separate stories of survival. Tonight, your side's Melanie Woodrow spoke with two of those local survivors today. Melanie. Alvito, since the film's making two years ago, two of the four survivors locally have passed. Their stories, however, will continue to be told because of this film, What We Carry. It brings back certain memories. I remember everything. At 79 years young, Kitty Sachs and Dana Cohen are two of four local Holocaust survivors featured in a soon-to-be-released documentary, What We Carry. A couple of years ago, we initiated this project to try and preserve the stories of our local survivors. I owe my life to righteous uh, Gentiles, and my gym teacher was one of them. Kitty Sack's survival story begins at 9. I was most fearful for my parents to be, to be uh, arrested by the Gestapo, and they came very, very close. As the Gestapo went up, up, st up the uh, stair staircase, they banged on each door. Off, off, which means open, open, and my father was in bed, and he motioned to my mother at the door not to open. Kitty's parents survived. Nuns hit Kitty in a replication of her suitcase. Kitty carries pictures of those nuns, a doll she had as a child, and the Jewish star she wore. I was proud to wear it. I was never ashamed. It was their shame, not mine. It was a Nazi shame. Twenty-seven of Kitty's family members were killed in the Holocaust. Dana Cohen also lost 27 family members. Aunts, uncles, cousins. Cohen was one of four survivors in her family. On April 13, 1914, they stormed into our apartment and woke us up at 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, shoved us onto the um, truck that were already waiting outside and carted us off to the Grand Central Station for a trip to Siberia. She carries pictures of her family and a dress she wore. I've decided that if anybody asks me, I'm not going to volunteer with it. If anybody approaches me, I, will, I would like to tell the story. So she did, as did Kitty. Well, I have to share my story because otherwise uh, six million would have died in vain. Two local survivors whose memories will educate generations to come. What we carry will be shown at 3 p.m. on Sunday, March 25th at TCC's Roper Performing Arts Center. The viewing is free and open to the public. Alvita? The film's world premiere is next week at the Simon Weisenthal Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles.